If you're dealing with a toxic person, a narcissistic person, anyone with personality disorder, okay, have you noticed that the way they treat you is really random? Have you noticed that, like, okay, so, so maybe there are some regularities thrown in there. Like maybe holidays, they always act out. Maybe every Tuesday they act out or whatever. Okay. But for the most part, have you noticed how random it is, especially in the beginning when, when they'll gaslight, when they'll go off, when they will lose their temper, when, you know, have you noticed that it doesn't come with much regularity? And have you noticed how the love bombing can come in at the most random times? This is intermittent reinforcement, you guys, and what it creates is cognitive dissonance. Let's talk about that. My name is Lise Kaluji, and I am here to help you understand and transform your life after being around narcissistic, toxic people. Okay, basically intermittent reinforcement, rewards or punishment at random times. Intermittent reinforcement would be the reward that comes randomly after punishment. But narcissistic people also do it the other way, where the punishment comes at random times after the love bombing. Okay, so this is very confusing to our brain. We like patterns. Our minds like to know what's coming. It's how our brains work. It's why we can learn something and then not have to work at it to do the thing. Intermittent reinforcement creates a confusion of emotional response to that other person, all right? Because it's so random. And have you noticed how when you've been with a narcissistic person long enough that you can no longer figure out how to diffuse calm or bring the situation back to the happy place, the good times, because once they're in the devaluing, it stays there. There's then the intermittency of them basically not punishing you every now and then that comes into play that is on their timetable for no reason. Basically what I'm saying here is affection is handed out like a reward, only you don't know what it is you did to get that reward. So what happens is when the narcissist is in the devaluation stage and they are continually gaslighting you, criticizing you, ignoring you, indifferent to you, they've lost any affection for you, all of that goes on, the withholding, all of it, okay? When that's going on and then you get an ounce of attention, you get a reward, by them, of them being sort of nice to you, or of some love bombing, or anything like that, it recreates in the brain the honeymoon phase of the relationship. So what happens is our brains are going along, we're being devalued, devalued, boom, honeymoon phase, and then it goes away, okay? And it links back to the past. And then it happens again, a little bit of attention, boom, links back to the past. The more links that happen back to that honeymoon phase, we start to have the phrase come out our mouth, we start to have the phrase ringing around in our heads of things like, I just want it back the way it was. Why can't it be the way it was in the beginning? You know what I mean? I know it could be better if only. If only I didn't do those things, then that. Okay, so it starts to create that feeling of, is it really that bad? Is it my fault? What can I do to make this better? Another thing that happens is the instability that comes with this intermittency, with this rewarding you for once in a while with love bombing or kindness or whatever that they do, creates instability. Healthy bonded relationships, both people feel stability from the other person. Oh my gosh, what's that like? You know, is, it, is all of this making sense? You guys, let me know in the comments if you've experienced this, what it was like for you. I know that this inconsistency is a real trigger with any relationship for a lot of us after being around narcissists, okay? The inconsistency creates a lack of stability. When we don't feel stable in a relationship, when we don't feel safe in a relationship, oh my gosh, what does that create, right? It creates all kinds of attachment issues. It also reinforces trauma bonding. You start clinging, you start chasing the good times. It creates the need for the dopamine chase, okay? Chasing the good times, doing your best, fawning, doing things that, doing things that are out of character, having over the top reactions, becoming reactive. Because basically when they're shutting off and withholding attention, when they are devaluing you, you wanna get 
in their good graces literally creates and reinforces the trauma bonding, creates an addiction to the process with that narcissistic person. When we say I'm addicted to the narcissist, let's reevaluate that. You're actually addicted to the process that happens from the narcissistic manipulation and abuse. Because I don't like to think that that particular narcissistic person has any power over you. So the dopamine response, let's talk about that for a second. Dopamine gives us the feeling of having, achieving, pleasure. And when that is linked into your survival mechanism, your basic survival in a relationship, it's pretty confusing. Okay. Instead of seeking and hunting and gathering and, you know, we're hunting and seeking and gathering for the basic right to feel okay in a relationship. The problem is it's really difficult to just step away because once your brain has gotten into this loop, the only way to boost that dopamine is through a release by that narcissistic person being nice to you again. This is why it's so important to go no contact and just deal with the withdrawal from the situation until your brain can receive the dopamine reaction from other things in life, healthier things in life, okay? The last point I'm gonna say here is perceived kindness is the hook. Perceived kindness, you guys, not kindness. That is what love bombing is. Love bombing is perceived kindness, all right? Not being cruel to you, not punishing you and rewarding you intermittently is perceived kindness. It is not real kindness. So understand what's going on with this and you guys do your best to step away from these toxic situations for your own good, okay? You guys hit the thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Take care, bye-bye.